Okay, I got a uh, kind of a Scandi Versatip thing. It's a homemade deal. And here's how I like to cast with a sink tip on it. A 116 grain sink tip or 96 grain, 12 feet. I like to lift, sweep, and then do an exaggerated circle up. And I don't worry about a, I don't worry about a bloody L that much. So instead, the opposite would be to be like lift, go down, up. Okay, but that took a lot of energy. And I had a little bloody L, but it, when you're doing a kind of a sink tip cast, and, and uh, it might not be too pretty. Go down, go up, cast. So instead of using all that top hand, instead of using my upper arm, I do much better if I sweep flat and then push around with my bottom hand to set the anchor. Like that. Boom. Okay. So left, sweep, rod tip goes out and around and up. Okay. Lift, sweep flat, up. So when the rod tip goes up and around, the line goes down. Okay. We sweep flat and that makes the line come across. And then line follows the momentum. It follows the rod tip path, but it follows momentum too. So what that means is if your momentum is flat on the sweep, the line's coming in hot, right? And then, so I'm not going to just throw my hands up. I'm just going to sweep flat and, and across like this. Okay. Sweep there and cast. So it looks like instead of doing like a, a cross cut, one of those cross cut kind of casts where you're doing that, if I just sweep this thing flat, okay, lift, sweep flat, circle up, a little acceleration circle up like like that honest to goodness lift sweep rod tip goes from sweeping flat to there plants the anchor and then you get your cast and if you do it too hard what will really help you what really helps me when I'm doing a single spay or a single spay with a sink tip is to, if you get in too big of a rush and blow your anchor, watch that, watch your leader, okay? I've got a, a sink tip and a three foot leader and a not too heavy fly. And if I cast it too fast, I need to, if I have a too quick tempo, here's what happens sometimes a lot. See, I blew that anchor. So what, what really helps me is to sweep and set the anchor, okay? And then watch the anchor. And when the anchor, I make my D-loop, and my D-loop's kind of going upstream a little bit, maybe a little bit back. But that D-loop will pirouette around me and I can watch my anchor go from this direction, swivel around to where the butt of the fly is pointing at the target, and then I cast. So instead of just sweeping, setting the anchor and cast, I sweep, set the anchor, watch the anchor. Okay, the anchor hit, the D-loop went up, the D-loop swiveled around, and the the, I could see the anchor, which is the, the mono running line, mono running line, the mono tippet and the sink tip went from here to here. And I could watch it for like a pretty long moment in time. 
there was no need to rush, but I don't just arbitrarily like pick a random uh, pausing time. I, I watch that anchor pirouette around, line up with the target, and it, and it does this all in the air. That's when you do this cast. See, I'm going to. At that time, I, my anchor skidded in. And I blew my anchor on the D loop. So I'm going to set the anchor out close to me. Okay, so to avoid a blown anchor, you can get a nice anchor and set the anchor more in front of me. There's a cast because I watched, I can, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll try to, but the anchor is staying out of the water. If I cast it, it's going to blow, but if I'm patient, Wait for it to pirouette around. That wasn't as good, but I can see the whole shooting heads out and the sink tip and the tippet are anchoring. That's better. So I'm going to do it a little more direction change. And a little more speed on the sweep, so lift. Boom, because I watch that anchor, I can just see it out of the corner of my eye or watch it. And when it pirouettes around and lines up with the target, then I can pull with the bottom hand and get a nice cast with the sink tip. Okay. That time it slipped a little bit, the anchor bounced. I'm gonna come real flat with the sweep and then circle up. Okay, that time my anchor didn't, I got too much stick. This time I'm gonna pay real good attention and go like this. while I'm rotating. And there's the cast, okay? So you can watch your anchor. Go flat, circle up. So it's really cool. It's really cool. It's a great way to do it. So it's like sweep and come across with this bottom hand. Bottom hand stirs the pot. Top hand swivels. And when the bottom hand goes out and around, the top, the tip top goes out and around and up, sets your anchor. Then you can lift up maybe a little and cast. Worked really great. Try to do a really fast one. So if you can come in really flat, you don't have to do it super fast. You gotta have a lot of tension. It'll, it'll set the anchor. The anchor will be flat. You might get a little bit of a bloody L, but it'll still cast really good and, and clean.